This video is brought to you by UEI Test Instruments. Essential Instruments, Outstanding Service. Good morning, guys. It's been a little while, but uh, in traffic here, I just dropped my son off at his therapy, and I'm headed to go help a friend of mine. He called me up a couple days ago, and he said, hey, I got a little job right here, a little uh, three-ton change out. It's in a closet. And he said, uh, would you mind coming and help me and set the condenser for me while I do the air handling? He said it would really help me. I said, yeah, sure. So uh, I'm going to go help him do that this morning. We're going to go take out a old Bryant system. The air handler is extremely old. It's, it's like a 80-something model. It's the one with, uh, you know, the slant coil. The carrier made them, too. They were just badge different. Condenser's a little newer than that, but we're going to change the whole system. So I'm going to set the condenser while he does the air handler. And uh, we were supposed to put a Goodman in because he's a re he, he really likes Goodman. He's real big into Goodman. But he called me last night to let me know that we, that we were going to be going with a carrier now because Goodman did not have the their three ton air handler they only had the the d cabinet or the c cabinet and he wanted the b cabinet or whatever it was long story short the only uh, air handler goodman had in stock in three tons was going to be too big for the for the closet too like too tall and a little too wide so he called me to let me know that since that was the issue, we're going with a carrier. And carrier had the right air handler for the size that we needed. And I said, okay, hey, I said, man, hey, I don't care. Whatever you want to do is fine with me. So that's what we're going to go do this morning. Matter of fact, we're getting ready to pull up over there. And I see he's not there yet, but he called me and told me he he probably wouldn't be here for another 30 minutes. So I told him I'd come over here and, uh, get started on it for him and uh we'll see if we can get some film on it all right so here's what we're working with a little bryant Is that a damn four ton? No, that's serial number, shit. Two and a half ton. We're going back with a three. So, I'm a little worried about this right here. I gotta get that drawer out of there. That's gonna be close to Bray's on. But we'll figure something out. And here they go again in Lafayette using that BX non-weatherproof it's changed getting changed he also said we're gonna change the disconnect box so i need to get that thing open that thing wants to be a pain in my ass this morning It's an old disconnect. It's getting replaced because it's falling off the damn wall anyway. All right, I'm gonna get started. I tell you what, man, whoever put that dryer that close to that house, that's gonna be tough. I'm really nervous about doing that. I'm, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna try to chip that paint away and actually unsweat the dryer. I've already cut it loose right here because I don't want to cut no closer. I don't like that at all. I really don't. Um, I got to see it. We're, we're just, I'm going to have to chip away at that paint and see if I can get it. What we could do too is maybe cut away some of this and then put like a, you know, a, a metal cover or something over it. 
we looked at this the other day and we discussed either chipping the paint away and unsweating and then like wrapping rags all around here and or taking a saw and you know cutting a circle and then giving us some more room and then putting like a metal cover over it like one of them dryer vent type covered things but I'm gonna leave that up to him since this is his job but uh this is the air handler's original but this connector has been replaced that that's what they came with originally that's an old BDP Yeah, this one says Carrier Court, but Carrier Brian, it's all the same shit. So, all right. Well, the connector's cut loose. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take my disconnect and stuff off the wall. And if, if he's still not here by then, I'll go start unhooking the air handler. So, I'll start taking that off. All right, I got my new unit set in place. I was able to chip away at this wood with a screwdriver. I feel pretty comfortable about that. I chipped away some of that great stuff and I'm gonna be very careful, but I think I can get it done now. Again, we had to relocate the unit, so I made a bend. Then I'll make another bend, like a 45 degree. Same thing with the liquid. All right, well, I got her done and I uh, had me a bottle of water here, and I kept it nice and wet in there. Got it all brazed up. I have the rest of it fitted up, and I was about to make a huge mistake. I have my copper all nice and fitted up pretty. And what did I do with it? There it is. I forgot to install my dryer. Almost made a big boo-boo, but we're going to put it in right here. All right, guys, well, obviously everything is welded up. Line set came out real nice. It's in a vacuum. It hadn't been running that long. Eventually, I'm going to get me a new, uh, another vacuum set up. I left all that with my father. I left in my Appian hoses and everything, so. And, uh. But yeah, it's going good, pulling down. I mean, pulling the vacuum this way will work fine. It just takes longer. Got our new whip. Coming right along. All right, gentlemen, that'll be the finished product. That, uh, this is temporary because it was rotten behind the old disconnect. And she knows that her wood is rotten. It's rotten down there behind the breaker panel. She's having all this replaced with, uh, I think she said maybe vinyl siding or just, I don't know what she's doing. So before anybody says anything, that is there temporary so that the disconnect can be mounted. Vinyl siding people or whatever will remove that and then remount it back. Is she running good? Came out nice. Thank y'all for watching, and we'll see y'all on the next one.